Hello friends, welcome to the Evangelist Nick Garrett channel. Today we look at the first part of Matthew chapter 3. John the Baptist prepares the way. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea. He wasn't in the major cities, he was in the wilderness preaching. Saying, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Now John himself was clothed in camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Why is this significant? What are they telling us about John the Baptist compared to other people? We subconsciously kind of get the idea that, okay, they're telling us John the Baptist was nuts. But is that what they're saying? Here's a man whose sole mission in life was to point to the one that would come after him. He did not care about fancy clothes. He did not care about the best sustenance. Here's a guy walking through the wilderness, covered with camel hair and a leather belt. What is being said is that this guy cares nothing about the human world around him. He is living out his mission, period. Then Jerusalem, all Judea, and all the region around the Jordan went out to him. All Jerusalem? All Jerusalem went out to him. All Judea and all the people from around the Jordan. He was attracting people from all the major cities. Even the Sadducees and Pharisees come. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said, brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Can you picture him? He's doing his job. He sees them. You brood of vipers, who warned you about the wrath to come? Why are you here from your fancy place in Jerusalem? Who warned you? Therefore, bear fruit worthy of repentance. And do not think to say to yourself, we have Abraham as our father. For I say to you that God's able to raise up children of Abraham from these stones. Your claim to the lineage of Abraham is insignificant now, guys. That's what he's saying. Now here, this is deep, and I want you to listen to this and understand why I have an axe in my hand. And even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown in the fire. Even now the axe is laid to the trees. And those that do not bear fruit are thrown into the fire. I'm in my garden here. And if you think for one second that to plant a garden doesn't require you to say, Lord, please provide, you got another thing coming. And from time to time, weeds come up in the garden and they take up space where good fruit could be born. And John the Baptist is saying, even now the ax is laid to the root. If it doesn't bear good fruit, it is cast aside and thrown into the fire. This is an often overlooked message that has so much gravity to it. May your work today bear fruit. May my work today bear fruit. God have mercy on us that our work today bear fruit. Lest the ax be laid to us and we be cast in the fire.